should be able to force some retreat as there are no squads for Vandera in the vicinity at the moment. Uh, actually, may try to go in this building and hold them here as much as possible so other squads can come in and force a... other squads can come in and try to support them. However, I don't see them moving or anything like that. And Oh no, I think he lost his squad. I don't know what it was from though. I wish I saw it. I, it might have been from a grenadier or a grenadier grenade or whatnot. And actually managed to take out this medic bunker. I believe the mortar finished the job there. And checking the kills on Dero's mortar it doesn't have any kills. However, it is now hammering this house here with the rifle squad in it. He, he is. Oh man, main gun destroyed by that AT gun. One more hit, and it's gonna go out. Um, I don't think Van Eric can win this fight at all. There's just too many squads for Dero. Dero even has a sniper over here to support him. There's a, uh, a lot of different types of units here. That's what I love about Company of Heroes. And motors or artillery going off. However, it is going off in the middle. I'm, I don't know what he's going for there. Perhaps there's a squad there recently. There's one squad being retreated. However, a better spot would be to counter that motor or AT gun. The uh, the mo the units that are less mobile, that's and you know where they are. That's when you want to use the artillery on them because uh, it's almost a guaranteed, not a guaranteed kill, but it's it's a better, a lot better chance compared to these constantly moving grenadier squads in the middle of the fight. And once again, Dero wins out. Uh, he's been really keeping him contained for the most part. Oh man, uh, taking that big hit right there. And if Dero can just set up an MG here, I believe he could contain him pretty well. Cap that uh, strategic point and finish this game a lot earlier than it should have been going. I'm going to do another quick time synchronization. 22 minutes and actually scratch that. 23 minutes, 2, 3, 4, Five. Now the AT gun moving up the motor squad over here. MG needs to uh, hurry up and move up, set up in one of these buildings perhaps, or just set up in the general area in the middle as all his squads are moving up. You want to start reclaiming more of the map, move your stationary units up forward. Now do we have, let's yep, we have tier 4 out for Dero. Uh, looks like a Panzer should do a lot. Uh, there's an AT gun out, and there's actually a lot of space here, so... To do its thing against AT or to do its thing against the tank, it can even adjust to the right here and take some shots. It does have rangers out as well. That's great against infantry and decent against tanks. Airborne are better, however, they're not that great against infantry, and that's not what you want against tier two right now. And whoa, lots of artillery, uh, motors going off. Um, uh, it's unfortunate because he's not really hitting anything. He does force him to slightly retreat. However, this MG needs to pull back. That Ranger squad can always use run up and run all over this range, uh, MG squad. However, here comes the Panzer. There is an AT gun in the back, though. Lots of destruction at the moment. Um, veteran tanks just now finishing four deer. Going to fire at that Ranger squad. Ranger squad hasn't taken too many hits, really. The M8 here hiding behind that building so the Panzer can't get to it. Uh, oh, may lose this. Probably won't lose that mortar squad. Needs to just uh, pull it back, as the tank is there to defend it. And uh, looks like Dero will hold. He does lose that MG here to the right side. Was too busy microing in the middle, and unfortunately does not see that. And uh, here comes Vandera actually making a decent push, winning that fight. Uh, that AT gun definitely keeping that tank at bay, especially with the Ranger squad support. And that howitzer will will do its damage over time. May run over this mine. It there's a mine right in front of that Panzer. If it moves just a tad bit, and no, I think Vandera is just like cringing. Unfortunately, does not hit it. However, takes a nasty shot from the Ranger squad. There's an AT gun firing on as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he loses this. May back up into this mine. Note stops almost. Ugh. Not gonna hit the mine. However, the AT gun and Ranger squad managed to finish that off. What Dero needs now is Pioneer squads with flamethrowers. That's going to be great against this Engineer squad. Or perhaps get some MG42s for his Grenadier squads. One or the other will do. However, I believe this Ranger, once this Ranger spam starts to pick up, it's going to hurt really bad. 
And here comes artillery coming in from Vendera. However, does retreat out of that. A nice grenade from Dero uh, doing the damage to those to that Ranger squad and forced to retreat. So, kind of a no win there for either player. They both forced each other to retreat. Oh man, kills the AT gun. That's what you want to see. Uh, taking out that stationary stationary units here and should counter that mortar squad eventually getting really close to it however I don't think he's gonna hit it as most of the artillery is focused around there looking into e the base howitzer has 15 kills I didn't realize how much damage that has done um, he, uh, looking at Dero's base doesn't look like too much. He is now moving out with his Grandier squads. That hasn't rebuilt a medic bunker, so probably annoyed by that howitzer may take it out again. And here he goes moving in up north. Not uh, getting recap that middle VP. VPs are 357 to 347, so they are pretty even right now. Um, I think it's going to be really all going to come down to who can hold this middle position of the map and just keep it there. Uh, and now Fender is moving out with his Ranger squads. Uh, one Grenadier squad going to take the bulk of all of that fighting. He needs to hurry up and send the support here. Uh, Pioneer squad laying, laying a mine and Ranger squads may run into that. Killing the Pioneer squad. Hopefully that mine can uh, do a little redemption. It does hit the mine and pins one rifle squad. Rifle squad going to have to retreat. Ranger squad. Get back here in the south, gonna do a little flanking. However, it looks like Dero is gonna come out on top, as his squads are just too strong and too many. Grenades even going off, uh, forcing one squad to retreat at least. However, my mistake. It looks like it's really close. Dero may or may not come back. Any one of them can throw a grenade. Green cover does go away for Ranger squad. This battle is constantly changing. Those two grenades, and he does come out on top of that fight. A second Panzer coming out for Dero. Hopefully he keeps that out of range of that AT gun. And Houtzer is is he gonna fire after this fight? If he no it doesn't look like it's going to fire. Um putting the keeping the pressure up. Dero uh, actually mortar miss microed here may get it taken out. Uh, if this grenadier squad can move on it he does realize that and is now adjusting however the panzer is Firing at it does retreat the mortar squad, so it should be good. Even artillery going off, that's not too far away. And force one Grenadier squad to retreat as Dero is keeping the pressure on him, capping this northern VP. Three VPs all around for him. This Panzer is just going all in. Gonna try to take out this AT gun. Now there's a crap load of Ranger squads. This wouldn't have been my position here to do that. He, I would say he's going in to just slay artillery. However, he doesn't have enough for rocket barrage as that does have. Uh, ammunition cost that's a lot and unfortunately throws away that panzer he was trying to take out that howitzer however I don't think it's worth it especially after the ranger squads are reinforcing in his base and gets a little too aggressive over there with especially with an AT gun still out on the field and he is unfortunately forced to retreat uh, however he still has majority of the map so if he can re reinforce and come back into this fight as long as these squads here can uh, delay them as long as possible and then bring back all his reinforced squads back into the middle and hold it. Here goes Grenier going off uh, for the 5 line has popped taking lots of hits there from uh, man from uh, a grenade and now is forced to retreat popping for the fatherland but unfortunately uh, looks like only the Volkswagen Deers no my mistake for the fatherland supports all squads within uh, friendly territory so if they're in your territory it will help and looks like he manages to push these two ranger squads back I think oh man no howitzer going off I believe it's probably still on cooldown this would be a great time to use it if you're keeping him still there uh, still hasn't gone for that motor motor is up to six kills now and AT gun is a little sticking out a little too far he needs to pull it back uh, no, nothing here to guard the AT gun besides a oh, hopefully lucky motor shot howitzer is now going off and it is going for these Grenadier squads in the middle. It overshoots once. If we're getting very close, Motor Squad is also firing as well. These Grenadier squads are not moving too much. Um, he must feel safe in that position. Oh no, loses one Grenadier squad. The body flying in the air and almost taking out the second Grenadier squad on the retreat. However, he does get away. That was very close and would have been costly there. 
and now uh, looks like uh, his second portion of his army is moving out. He has a sniper out, uh, building barbed wire. Uh, that's that's interesting. Uh, as ranger squads are now moving on to them, needs to be careful as they take extra damage building stuff. And here comes a huge, a little decent fight here. Two ranger squads and an engineer squad that needs to retreat. He does force the sniper to retreat. And if these rangers can go to town on these last two grenadier squads, he should be able to do it. However, he's going to go for that mortar, which should be guaranteed kill the mortar. There's no way he can get out of there in time. And he does roll over that mortar and then goes to that building so great micro by vendera just rolling over the motor and going right behind that building so he takes no more hits it's a great uh safe retreat path or you can go into the building like so he needs to be careful for grenades Dero has been loving his grenades uh all this game and no grenades going out just yet one grenade pops i can't tell who that was there's just so much chaos in the middle of all those fighting and here comes extra grenadier squads to save the day the force these ranger squads that have been on the field for so long taking out a motor uh... they one squad has five kills i can't check the other that is in the building just yet however this is pretty dangerous to retreat with all these squads out here especially one with an mp40 throws a grenade all down the one guy may lose it will he no he's not gonna lose it barely gets out of there and managed to uh, retreat what, how many kills does this ranger squad have uh, i can't click on it while they're on the retreat I'll check later. It does reman an MG out here. I did not know there was one out here. Um, Mandera should have really taken advantage of that. That would have helped him a lot against tier 2 infantry. That It was just sitting out here from a, a fight earlier. I can still remember that fight. But that's unfortunate. However, this is an awesome coming out for Dero. That's going to be really annoying for Vendera. It's great against um, infantry. Oh man, losing a oh man, a grand air squad right there in the middle. First shot by that howitzer, and I believe that had a Panzer Shrek upgrade. I'm not 100 sure. Let me check his other. No, it didn't. Uh, that was another squad that has it. So the howitzer is now up to 23 kills. Definitely paid for itself. Gonna try to cap this middle VP as the howitzer shots are over. Now and the dust is settling. However, there's a ranger squad out here. He needs to be careful. Um, well, he he de what he wants here is just to cap that middle VP and make it harder for him to cap that, for the US player to cap that. And he does manage to do that, especially with the Oswin coming in here and cleaning up that ranger squad. Now going to reclaim the middle once again. Uh, really has middle map control for the most part. Um, the howitzer for Vendor has been doing qu quite uh, a pretty good job. However, it's just it still isn't enough. He has just so much infantry from Dero, and his ranger squad just can only do so much. His micro has been all right. There are a few things, a few mistakes on both players' sides for getting one unit here and there, and just losing a few squads. Dero trying to cap that middle, uh, that strategic point, Grenier. Grenade going off, he doesn't realize that it takes a few damage, killing one guy here in the south. Uh, rifle squad force retreat, uh, must have almost killed that sniper with 17 kills. And now Vendera needs to push out, he needs to do something as uh, these VPs are slowly taking away. And oh man, artillery almost getting a nice shot on these Grenadier squads. Almost, almost once again, will we see the shot he needs? Oh, it takes out a Volks Grenadier squad. Wow, with the MP40 upgrade, that sucks. That's unfortunate. And that's what he needs, is keep killing squads. He kills, I think, you believe he killed uh, about three squads with, with that howitzer. The howitzer is uh, 28, up to 28 kills, so that's what he needs. Hopefully he can do a slow push out of here. However, I'm still going for Dero because he is a fellow caster. And I hate abusers. And this guy abused with British. But anyway, uh, Ranger is going to try to charge this also. He needs to pull that also back as his very light armor. Taking a lot of hits right there. Maybe one more volley. Sh may be able to do it. However, there are squads here with an MG. Can they take this fire? Can they take this uh, damage? One more shot and takes out the... Oswin now needs to retreat and gets out of there as he does. Two AT guns uh, built for Vandera. I think he may have overspent in an extra AT gun. Would have better to get another Ranger squad. Um, just because he's been handling his tanks pretty well. 
Uh, one AT gun supported by two Ranger squads should be decent enough. What you need is uh, another Ranger squad to deal with this infantry here or something. Just something to deal with this infantry because he has uh, tier 2, which is a lot of infantry. I've already down to 1, 2, 3, 4 Grenadier squads and an MG squad. So if you can keep picking away at Dero's army with his artillery, he may be able to come back. As I keep saying, uh, VPs are 357 to 166. Trying to cap that VP, however, he is currently pinning him in his base. Gonna lose this Austin for sure, and that's unfortunate as there's two AT guns and a uh, three Ranger squads out. So he, I, this game, I still think this game could be anybody's game. Right now, the Dero has unfortunately been getting hit by these howitzer strikes, and it's slowly dwindling his army, and they're almost getting about even now. And MG gonna try to suppress that Ranger squad. However, the MG isn't useless. It's just a little harder to deal with squads now because they have that run-up upgrade and could just walk over your MGs and walking into his base. And he now calls in a rocket barrage. Let's see what the damage does here. Takes out the howitzer. I had 28 kills. Almost taken out the mortar pool. Will it take it out? That is uh, kind of unfortunate. He does take out the howitzer, which is awesome, but. If there's squads in here, could you imagine how many squads he would have killed? That would have been, I think that would have been the killing blow. However, he kills that howitzer, gonna even the fight a little bit, make it take a little pressure off Dero right now. Uh, however, Bandera is now finally reclaiming the middle. He's probably just like, finally, needs, needs to cap that middle VP and take care of this MG squad. And I think, uh, what is he doing here? Oh, he's going for that sniper. Um,. I don't think the sniper shot anything though, so I was kind of curious to how he saw that. Maybe just got lucky and ran into it. Gonna cut him off from the right right uh, side of the map, but he also needs to cap that middle strategic point as well to totally cut him off, as that does still allow him to get supplies from the right side there. And it looks like we have another Austin coming out for Dero. Um, still gonna be annoying, however, he has a good decent amount of AT guns. And there's a lot of open space out here. And here in the middle, it uh, looks like Ranger Squad is going to try to take on a, a Rifle Squad and Ranger Squad. Where is the support? Here comes the support. Now a Howitzer would be great. Just start raining shells onto that middle VP after this fight. For It's obvious he's going to cap it, but unfortunately he does not have that. He needs to be careful. It's awesome. He's been losing so many vehicles to these AT guns and Ranger Squads. And I think he should just stick to infantry. There's... Uh, really no reason to go vehicles, just because um, you force him to build AT guns. He does have Ranger squads to deal with that. And you need infantry. Infantry rolls over this entire army. If you can get um, Knight's Cross or just get that third veteran C out for your Grenadiers or some Pioneer squads with anything that's anti-infantry to go against the squad. Oh man, just getting, he's just getting torn up here and that's what he needs, infantry. Awesome one, easily countered by this AT gun. You can try to flank however there are two AT guns and ranger squads as I said before that can take care of that quickly. Awesome one has too much of a light armor and now the fight is slowly dwindling. One ranger squad may have to retreat or if that one ranger squad can start running up on these grenadier squads. Um, remember the constant stream of grenadiers just keeps coming out. It's like fighting China. And oh man, the gra grenade going off however doesn't do too much. This fight is a uh, constantly a reinforced fight and then come back onto the battlefield type fight. It's going to go on for a while. There are no howitzers being rebuilt for Vandera, so we won't see any off map stuff yet. At least I don't think so. Uh, MG is set up in the back. Sniper now coming in to help support. Uh, going to force one Grenadier squad to retreat. However, um, are there any Grenadier squads coming out? So no. Once he takes out, once he takes care of, he pretty much took care of all his Grenadiers, and now he can push into the middle and reclaiming that. Trying to, trying to take out the MG. However, I don't think he's going to be able to do that. Uh, falls back and decides to start recapping. He needs to cap that middle VP to cut Dero off from the right side of the map. I don't think he realizes that though, as uh, so you don't get too many games where you need to take that middle VP middle strategic point to cut him off from the right side so uh, here's a little engagement by a Grenadier squad and a Ranger squad uh, we finally have Pioneers with flamethrower upgrade that is what he needs against this Ranger squad 
He's maybe a few more, perhaps get Veteran Chi on support. Um, is he building any more Pioneer squads? No, he isn't. So he's only sticking to this one. Pioneers are very fragile, um, pretty obviously why. They only have two guys, and they are a building unit, not a fighter, not a fighter type, guys. Uh, whatever. And now here comes a push from Dero in the middle. Uh, he should be able to take out that mortar squad. There's not much here. Rifles, uh, rifle and a ranger squad desperately trying to get out here into the middle. Um, Dero is opting to cap that middle VPS. VPS are very low, so that's a great move right there, putting pressure on Vendera, making him uh, get uh, more greedy as greedier than he sh uh, whatever has to <laughs> make him come out of his base, get more greedy than he has to. And here it is, uh, huge, huge fight here. This could end. Bandera for sure if he loses this fight as VPs are low, this can take a while to reinforce. He knows this pops for the Fatherland. Pioneer squad now doing its thing. Um, trying to take care of this Ranger squad in the back uh, is burning the crap out of it. Down the four guys, this fight is, is going on and on and on. Uh, Ranger squad now finally forced to retreat as they're getting burned alive. Grenade, grenade, grenade going off in the middle. One Ranger squad going out, you can see both players are trying to squeeze every last inch of health and use out of their, their units here. And unfortunately, it looks like Vandera is going to have to be pushed back. Um, is he keeping up with his reinforcement? Can he do it? I, I don't know. These Granger squads are very low on health, so if he can get out of his base one more time, uh, force all these squads to retreat, retake the middle, and then hopefully hold for dear life to win this fight however I don't see it happening there's just so many squads out for him uh, he does pop for the fatherland here in the middle of this fight um, Dero knows this and is just trying to keep him in his base as long as possible there is an off map group with a uh, hellcat so that will be uh, kinda annoying as he doesn't really have a counter for it there's a shrek one shrek squad uh, hellcat's not great against infantry but it is great when you don't have a counter to it so it, sh it will have free reign. Give me one second here. I need to take a drink. Um, Vandera knows this is his last push, so he's not going to get too antsy right now. Uh, just fully reinforce, go all in, go for the middle, and hope for the best. It is possible. These squads aren't reinforced. He's keeping him there because he knows. VPs are 46 now, the 352. Here comes the. Here it comes for the fly line is popped. Uh, all these squads unfortunately getting uh, suppressed. Ranger squads can do run up, however you want to use that when they're closer to the MG squad. But he is forced to use them now. Looks like he's opting to engage. Unfortunately, he didn't send a squad around to cap it <coughs> during all this fighting, and they're all getting suppressed. Uh, Dero holding the line here and forces him to retreat. The Hellcat's still doing its thing a little bit. It doesn't do that much against infantry, and now that one Shrek squad is going to do its thing against the Hellcat. It only has one kill, and one more shot will take out that Hellcat. And two mortar squads, that, that's going to help Vandera, but it's, it's just too slow right now. He needs uh, to do damage right here, right now. He needs to cap that middle VP. Just, just trying to come on, come on, Vander. Push, 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 push. Um, at least send the squad there. I'm just, I wish you would have sent the squad because there's no, there's nothing here to defend that South VP. It could buy him a little bit more time. Uh, pull one Vol Grenadier squad off the line for Dero. Uh, make this fight in the middle a little easier. Lots of destruction. Look at all these little circles here from the mortar squads and. It was a GG. Finally pulls, throws in the towel. What a game all the way down to the last minute here. This last minute fight. Desperately trying to hold on. Vendera looked like he was going to uh, win. Or not win, but make a comeback. But unfortunately that doesn't look like the case. As uh, he wasn't able to hold him. Uh, it's MG squad suppressing him. And too many Grenadier squads were in the howitzer did almost enough if he could maybe kill like one maybe two more squads he might have been able to come back but he was not able to he did manage to kill the panzers and all the Oswins coming from Dero and Dero says serve you right for playing Brits 
Yes. No, I don't mind playing Brits. It's the fact for abusing Brits. I kind of like uh, playing Brits. <coughs> um, but each to his own. They are getting balanced in the beta patch. So you can guys can stop complaining about it. And really, uh, I think Vendera still has a sizable army here, but the VPs are 7. This game's about to end. And I hope you guys enjoyed that game. And some more artillery. Oh no, mortars uh, doing its thing. And you can see all these squads getting burnt alive here at the very end. Um, actually not getting burnt too much. They kill off that pioneer squad. And here comes the second GG from Dero. Hope you guys enjoy that. And play the beta. Go play the beta as we want company heroes to shape up. It is kind of large, but... It's from a Steam download, just do it while you're sleeping or whatnot, and I'll see you guys next time.